Hi everyone, welcome to MLB The Show Mondays, powered by GameStop. For MLB The Show 19, one of the areas of focus was defensive efficiency, defensive intelligence, and making hitting more fun and rewarding than ever. We have all new fielding AI that makes fielding more realistic than ever. 
outfielder's jumps off the bat will now vary more depending upon how good of a fielder they are. There's a new fielding ability indicator under the player's feet. It gives you a quick reminder of how good or bad the fielder is you're controlling. Playing hits off the wall will now be easier or harder to pick up depending upon the ability of the fielder. We've recorded over 1,300 new fielding animations for MLB The Show 19. The motion capture list includes hundreds of new catches, pre-pitch catches in the infield, and animations to help separate players' abilities more. Playing out of position now will result in an increased frequency of fielding miscues. We haven't forgotten about the head-to-head -head competitive crowd either. There's now a full arsenal of animations that allow you to effectively and efficiently stop base running exploits. To summarize our Flash to Leather improvement suite, fielding ability, reaction time, speed, arm accuracy, and arm strength all play a huge part in field success or failures in MLB The Show 19. Speaking of user skill, it matters more in hitting. We've worked all year on improved hit variety, better swing timing, and you can expect pure contact hitters to be more effective. Make sure you join us next week for another GameStop Monday and pre-order MLB The Show 19 to receive 10 standard packs and one gold player choice pack. Pre-order at GameStop and receive their exclusive Gear Up choice pack. PlayStation. And we're back. I don't know what Nick Jeez. is doing. <laughs> Welcome to our second live stream of the day. Our first stream that went live at 11 a.m. was all about defense. It is archived. You can go and watch it. But now we're going to talk about hitting, bunting, pitching, and all this other awesome stuff. I'm joined yep. to my left by game design lead, senior designer, our, our man who's <laughs> taking us to the promised land. One of those. Nick Livingston. Yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> Nick hasn't had a whole lot of sleep. I'm not sleeping a whole lot right now. <laughs> and, so. and Kyle what's, Saul. What's going on? So, first things first, we will never ask for your password, so don't give it out. But there will be a sweepstakes today at 3.30 p.m. We will give out the keyword, which you will only need to enter one time. And then at 3.40, we will run our magic, and we will just pick the winners of some really awesome prizes. Those nice. prizes are two signed Ken Griffey Jr., MLB Authenticated Baseball, two digital Whoa. deluxe editions of the game. Unfortunately, you can't preload those. We're going to give away two 10-pack bundles and two $50 stub bundles. Whew. I think it's 67,500 stubs. Nice. So, Mr. Cow, what were the goals yeah. for 2019 for hitting and pitching? So, from alpha feedback, social media feedback, forum feedback. Um, great feedback. Great feedback, actually. I mean, as Gil mentioned previously, we monitor streams, we are in the forums, and it's not like we monitor people with a ton of people, like a lot of followers, we're all over. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, because be everybody provides valuable input mm -hmm. regardless. And, you know, we take that uh, seriously, and we're, you know, we, guys, we know you guys are passionate. So a few of those things that we got from the alpha, forums and everything was um, contact hitters feel underwhelming. Okay, we know that. We saw that plenty of places, pretty much resoundingly everywhere. Um, bunting is not realistic. Um, you know, we, the, the rocket bunts that, that we uh, brought in the game a couple of years back to uh, counter the bunchies a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, high off-speed exploits, uh, throwing those change-ups and stuff up in the zone. Um, not really being punished for those types of pitches like you would see in real life, hanging, hanging change-ups, hanging curve balls. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, just the inconsistency with hit outcomes and feedbacks, not seeing the type of hit, uh, hit types that you would, you would expect from contact hitters, line, the line drives, the balls through the middle, the balls through the middle past the pitcher, not hitting the not pitcher. Hitting the yeah. pitcher. Yeah. Not hitting the pitcher, not hitting the pitcher, which is huge. And in a couple of videos, you will, you will see some of that stuff. Um, yeah, so our topics for today, after you know, going through some of that, bunting changes, mm -hmm. general pitch tuning, mm -hmm. peer contact hitters. Nick, mm -hmm. I love the enthusiasm with each one of these. Give me a couple PCI more fingers. Skill, PCI skill, timing, skill. And swing analysis. Read it. Hey. Cool. And then the legend reveal. I th does anybody have a personal story for this legend this year? Or? Where's Kirby? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Where's Kirby? All right, so I guess, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's get into the sack and drag sack bunting. Sack and drag bunting. Let's go. All right, so no more rocket bunts. Uh, we did a lot of work 
tuning, uh, tuning bunting, both on and offline, uh, to mimic just the, the more rare put and play percentages that you would see in, yep. in MLB, and that um, is more significantly impacted in the offline experience when you're when you're simulating. Uh, but online, you know, you're going to be able to use your pitcher to sack bunt. You're going to be able to drag bunt down the line if somebody has a shift on. And, you know, we're going to see some of those in the yeah. videos in, coming up, which, you know, I think is a vital part of the game. Mm -hmm. You know, I know yeah. that power in, uh, in the MLB is, is huge, but occasionally there's a few managers who, who like to bunt. They don't, they don't want the dinger. So I think it's... <laughs> It's important that we that we bring it back yeah. in the game, and it's a vital por part of the game and respect a, and a the strategy. Game. That respect you the game. Yeah, respect the game. But you will still be punished if you try to bunt in non-bunting yeah. situations. Absolutely. And or if you just try to spam bunt, exactly. mm -hmm. you're going to be punished yeah. for doing that. No yeah. Bunt if, you, spam. if you're up there and you miss your first bunt and you miss your second bunt, you're, you're going to progressively get worse. That third baseman will recognize it yeah. if you are a good bunter. Yeah. If you're a poor bunter, he's like, no, I'm not going to worry about you. Obviously, your skills. Yeah, and, that's and if okay. the, and, and that's if just the, it is what it is. If, and if you're on the borderline, the threshold, they will react according to how often yeah. the team is bunting. So mm -hmm. if somebody's bunting a lot, that third baseman is going to be more likely to come up and uh, and cover it. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, we got a video here. Kyle. Yeah, yeah. So that? videos. Here we got a uh, pitcher up at Roll the plate. The Roll that beautiful runner on uh, runner on second. Roll that beautiful bunk footage. And back. you know, in, in some situations. You kind of you want to get this guy to third. I mean, Bumgarner, you might want to let him hit. And this is online footage, by this the way. This is online not footage. Offline. So this is all online footage. We capture this footage online. Yeah, we can just play. Yeah, play one more time, man. You just you can just the fact that we're we're getting it out there. Guy e can easily get to third with good speed. Those are the types of situations that we want. We don't want to punish you for having guys that can bunt on your team. You know, we want those guys to obviously be viable in your lineups. And so it's important that, that we brought that back yeah. and also brought it back in just the right situations yeah. and the right strategy. So speaking of bunting, bunt influence. Yeah, somebody People noticed, noticed that influence. Somebody in noticed that. There. Let's talk about that mm -hmm. real quick. Yeah, so um, pre-pitch, you can uh, use your right analog stick to influence the bunt to uh, the drag or push side, however you want. Uh, yep. You'll get some feedback with your controller, letting you know that, the, that your influence has been accepted. And you know, then when you go to square to bunt, for either the sack or also drag or to drag or push whatever you had influence before, yep. you know. Hopefully, you can get it down if you're bunting with a good bunter, you right know. situation, not yeah. Pablo Sandoval. Not being a, and not being a weirdo. <laughs> and not, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, we really tried to play up the like the, the strategy in it and the situational. You can't be just dropping bunts down. You know, respect the with, game. Yeah, essentially that that's what it is. If you haven't bunted with D Gordon all game, that maybe that third baseman knows he right. hasn't dropped the bunt, and maybe you can sneak one past him if he tried, decided to draw himself back. Probably not. Yeah. But you know. So what that means, if you're if you're if you're, if you're uh, you know connecting the dots, is that if you want to use a bunt successfully in the right situation, Absolutely. you shouldn't be bunting in not yeah right situations. Exactly. You'll be more likely to successfully lay down a bunt if you're only doing it in successful, in successful situations, situation. like right. like the right situations Absolutely. to lay down a Absolutely. situation. Also, while you're watching all the footage, all right. if you see any player ratings, they are not final. That's one of the last things Luis is going to touch. So we have any we more have, videos? Uh, yeah, we have, we have two more. Two more. Two more. Get... Here we have, and this is what this is with the shift on. And now a bunt attempt here. This is he right down the line. Down. And, and this is this is obviously not to say point. every time it gets down, but you know, no. most of the time, it most of the time it, it, it doesn't get down, but it's and there for you as a tool and an option, and it puts a little bit of pressure on you know the uh, the user on defense the when he when thinking about those shifts. And uh, yeah, I think we have one more. Here we got a runner on third. So you, safety squeezes. A lot of times the those rocket bunts were hit so hard. You could get it home quick enough and get the out, which obviously sucked. So we tried to, uh, right here, got it. And you know, you got to know the runner as well. That in, in this situation, actually, the pitcher realized, the AI pitcher realized, oh, I can't get him at home. I'll just take the out at first. So it's a nice little combination of the, uh, the bunting, the new bunting in the game, as well as the defensive stuff that we talked about earlier with pitchers, infielders recognizing. Cool. Nice. So let's uh, let's move on to our the next topic uh, was uh, just general sp uh, pitch, pitch speed and speed tuning. Uh, all right. So so pick 
pitch accuracy generally is just more difficult, especially as you're increasing in level, as it should be. You know, you're, yep. you're increasing in the ranks. It, make, it makes sense. So as you're, as you're climbing up from All-Star, Hall of Fame, Legend, you're going to notice it does get a little bit more difficult to locate, yeah. to, to, to locate your pitches. Yeah. Um, and so for a frame of reference, the Legend difficulty is the difference between the most accurate pitcher in our game and an average pitcher in a game, which is it's, it's quite a bit. So this is where, you know, those, those stats of the pitchers that you're playing with when you're building your teams, you know, they, they affect the types of outcomes that, that you're going to get. So, you know, trying to get those guys in your lineup could be very important. Um, yeah. Off speed pitches. Off speed flattest? pitches were too, too yeah. strong. Off speed yeah. pitches were too strong. So, so this year, all off speed pitches um, were reevaluated, and all off speed pitches except for sliders are now just generally less less effective. Less effective. Yeah. Um, we found that you know, as, even as you in, as you climbed up the ranks, you could still paint those pitches, and you know, we we saw a lot of feedback from the community just letting us know, you know, you know, I, I shouldn't be able to, or why is this guy painting with, you know, with His blah, 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 yeah. and he just, he just shouldn't be. So, you know, I think there's a huge difference here that you guys are going to notice between the, yep. uh, the accuracy and effectiveness of these off speeds. Um, so for frame of reference, curveballs, change-ups will have less movement, and also, you know, and let me get to one of the topics. Hold on, it's very important. Just the one that Vic. Oh. So, and it had to do with uh, the, the PCI, the taking pitches, rewarding taking pitches. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, so we don't reward or. Dis there's no incentive or disincentive to swing at certain pitches, you know? Yeah. We were inferring to an increase in importance on hittable pitches. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we're talking about when we reevaluated. Um, the types of pitching yeah. or the types of pitches and how effective and not effective they are. If you have a user up there throwing those change-ups consistently, consistently, you're, that, you know, as a hitter in real life, you're going to recognize that. So as a user, yeah. you're also going to recognize that. You're going to sit on that pitch and you're going to be rewarded for driving that pitch up in the zone, to, like in, in the gaps, yeah. as opposed to the change-up down. Mm -hmm. That you know, that's just diff more difficult. And to hit. you hear us talk a lot about um, the timing window. So PCI mm -hmm. is still as important yeah, as absolutely. it ever has been, right? So, but one one of the things that people seem to uh, not completely understand when they talk about hitting yeah. is that even though the PCI, when you're looking at it pre-pitch, is in a sort of a 2D frame of mind, it's not a 2D system, right? When you mm -hmm. swing, you have to think about if that pitch comes in on the inside corner, you need to get your bat around through the zone earlier. You need to swing earlier, right? And, the t and when we talk about the timing window, any pitch, depending on where it's at, has a timing window based on its location in the zone. And that mm -hmm. even that good timing window, we've talked about this in the past, but that good timing window is a spectrum from real good to good, yeah. right? And that, and so the just late is mm -hmm. not terrible, but it's not, it's in a different, it's out of the good window. Yeah. So like this year, the timing window is a lot more important. Mm -hmm. and, what, and what we meant when we, what we're talking about is that PCI is still important, but, but timing. timing is even more yeah, important, more important and, that, and that's going to raise the skill cap, Absolutely. right? Because not, now not only does it matter that you're able to square the PC up, PCI up, we're also talking about frames of timing and how mm -hmm. accurate you can be. And some of the best players in the world to, are, a lot more, uh, are a lot better with timing than, right. than the yeah, than World yeah. Series players, yeah. than really good players. So it's more about differentiating the difference between mm -hmm. good and great players so that that skill cap can be raised. Yeah, yeah. now you're able, yeah. again, like we, we said earlier in the week in the blog, you don't need God-level PCI skills to get better now. If you have really, really good swing timing, you're not going to be better in 19 than you were in 18. Right. We're trying to reward multiple play styles. Yeah, and so uh, splitters were also talked about as a very, very effective fit. Mm -hmm. Pitch, excuse me, uh, splitters yeah. and, and, and knuckleballs knuckle are both less effective than previous years, uh, and it's it's a pretty noticeable difference. Yeah. You, you're not able and to kind of spam that type of pitch, and so it, it's it's pretty noticeable. Yeah. Um, so in terms of uh, pitch speeds, offline legend is slightly faster than it was last year, and rookie is slightly slower. And there there's a reason that rookie is slightly slower, and it's something that we found out from alpha. And it really is just that uh, the rookie players were, um, you know, no disrespect, were just were even worse than, than they thought they were yeah. and we thought they were. <laughs> you know, it just, it is what it is. And so, 
in order to get the in inclusiveness, you know, we have to find a way to make the game playable right. for everybody. And so offline, you know, you will notice uh, that Rookie is a little bit slower and Legend is faster. However, online, Rookie is the same from last year and Legend is significantly, significantly faster. Significantly faster. And yeah. when you're in DD, it's, it's even, even faster. faster. Yeah, so yeah. play now rated, it's faster. It's faster. In DD, it's yeah, even faster. Yeah, so when you're that. playing those events or ranks, I mean, when you're playing ranked seasons you're and you're jumping you up, up by the, the time you get to Legend, you're, yeah. you're going to feel it. Gonna be really so really really like our, our, our spectrum of difficulties was, was the easiest difficulty was not easy not enough, easy enough. And yeah. the hardest difficulty was, was not, not hard, hard enough. enough. So we stretched them out, right? That's mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah. And one thing I want to hit on again that you talked about off speed pitches uh, being significantly less accurate than fastball. Mm -hmm. This all this applies even when you use meter pitching and yeah. analog yeah, pitching. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Even Both. with getting good input. And mm -hmm. the same is true for le legend pitching. Yeah. Once you're up pitching in those Hall of Fame and legend mm -hmm. levels and you're using pitches, pitchers who aren't that good with control. It's gonna be a lot harder yeah. right. to continually spam off-speed pitches. Like, yes, can't wait to see. Exactly, yeah. you're gonna want to mix your pitches up yeah. more. And as a batter, you're gonna want to be uh, patient because you're gonna mm -hmm. be in baseball, right, yeah. Kyle? You 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 want to look for pitches over the heart of the yeah. plate. That's an ideal. If you're, that's it's an a ideal more spot hittable hit. pitch. Yeah. It's a more hittable. <laughs> it's pitch. pretty good. Yeah, pretty good place to yeah. look. So those pitches over the middle of the plate, more hittable than the corner pitches, mm -hmm. that's true in our game. Yes. And it's more true this year than it was and last year. Have we talked about fastballs yet? No, so with fastballs, uh, there is a smaller timing window. Something that we, that we when we were reevaluating our pitches, we noticed that that window was just a little too big. And so that also was part of the reason why everybody felt, especially at the higher levels, that fastballs were just too hittable. They yeah. had too big of a window to exactly. make solid mm -hmm. contact And they in. weren't fast enough. Yeah, and they, they weren't just weren't fast enough. enough. So the combination Both. of the two really felt, you know, like it was just too slow. So with the miles per hour increase, as well as the smaller timing window, there's a And off-speed pitches. And off-speed pitches, strong. the balance the, of the there's a, There's a lot of factors. Mm -hmm. but let's, what about, talk about home runs per home nine. Home runs per nine. So and we mentioned that in yeah, the yeah. alpha stream. So with the introduction of home runs per nine, um, the better pitchers in our game uh, have an added effect to counter those really, really, really good power hitters. So uh, essentially this home run per nine stat in a way kind of takes the, that power hitter like down a notch, not to the point where yeah. they can't hit a home run, but just to the point yeah. where they're still powerful, but they're not. Pitchers and got like and powerful. The, the home runs per nine needs to be really, really high. Yeah, for this to take and the power needs to be really high. The power needs to be very, very high. So, but the bottom line is, pit, there's in a, in the game this year. There is an addition that m pitchers that are more effective mm -hmm. at neutralizing power hit hitters, big power hitters, are going to be more effective at neutralizing hitters. And uh, this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a real quick spiel on the meta um, and everything because as a developer, we talk about how, as a developer, it's concerning if the meta is ever not evolving, right? Because if, if it's decided, like last year, right, mm -hmm. that the meta goes in a direction to where everybody feels like in the public they've figured out a way to right. have the best strategy, then that puts the onus on us to come up with a counter strategy. So that's what a, a lot of what you're hearing with the way that you mix up pitches, with the way that right. that, that we we make sure that things are balanced and with the way that strategically, if some if everybody starts stacking their their lineups with huge power hitters, stack your pitchers with with home runs per 9, mm -hmm. right? And high the higher level pitchers and neutralize that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue to to think that way about everything and yeah. I I look forward to seeing how the meta emerges this year, mm -hmm. and maybe let's see. Should we're going to talk more should we about, talk about that, low, so. low pitches. We haven't really. Yeah, yeah. Low so yet. let's. Yeah, we'll move into like the rebalancing of some of the off-speed and lows. So low pitching was also another uh, another concern that everybody has brought up. Brought up the the ability to spam those pitches down low and how effective those pitches were down in the zone, which essentially just kind of eliminated the top two thirds. It was just not even really viable. So low pitches this year will generally be just less effective. Effective overall. It doesn't mean they aren't. They're still effective. They're still effective. You just can't spam them. That down and away slider is it's legit. It just you know in baseball it's legit, and in our game it should it should feel legit too. But just not every not freaking every pitch. It pitch, just yeah. yeah, absolutely not. And so it's going to be more important this year to fool the batter to mix your pitches and not spam the same right. can, can, same 
pitch over and over again. And yeah. Ramon, you touched on this earlier, but it, um, it's harder to spam those pitches that are not your number one pitch. So as you move from your uh, first pitch, first pitch, first pitch, you know, even if it's off speed, you, if your first pitch is the splitter, good for you. That is the most effective pitch in baseball. And if you have it as your number one and the ability to throw it all the time, it's going to be effective in the game, of course. But if it's your third and fourth, you can't continually throw that yeah. over and over yeah. and over You're again see a without seeing some sort of hit to to accuracy. Yeah, and let me let me talk too about because he said mixing the pitches up, fooling the batter. Fooling the batter can mean fooling them on the timing, and mm -hmm. it can mean fooling them on the PCI or a combination of both. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a I don't what I what I don't like seeing right is these is screenshots from where people rewind the game. They go to the last frame that they hit the X button and they say, here's my PCI, it's on the ball right here. However, that doesn't, you have to account for location of the pitch and timing. You might have had the PCI right on the ball, but where is the ball going in the next four frames? When did you swing? Did you swing four frames late because that pitch is on the inner third? It, is it, it could still end up being a good timing, but you still might have been late enough that that PCI might have dropped a little bit, right? And then you have to mm -hmm. add in, and you might that might be the out. difference between a fly ball to the warning track right. and a home run. And the feedback is giving you a categorization, right? But it, I'm, just, I'm just like letting you guys know mm -hmm. how it is. If you're early, like you roll over a ground ball on an outer third, you rolled over probably because you swung a little too early, right? And that's going to mean that that PCI, essentially in the 3D space, your bat goes through the thing. And shifts right. up a little bit. That might be the difference between a hard ground ball and a line drive over the head. So just keep that stuff right. in mind. And l when you when you're going to talk about oh this stuff's weird because I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect and there isn't going to be anything weird ever. But just please make sure that you're giving us the feedback when you're giving us the the PCI because mm -hmm. we need both of those things. Yeah. We also need to know what kind of player it yeah. is. Who was we're going to talk a lot that? about contact hitters and the difference between uh, how the PCI kind of behaves with contact hitters versus power mm -hmm. hitters. So. Yeah. Awesome. So then, uh, are we going? Where are we going? Yeah. Page two. Yes, sir. Let's move into page two. The uh, no, the, page three. The contact. Contact is. Viability contact. Viability and, contact um, is. Yeah, Matt, can you play like the first three or four videos yeah, that I sent same, you, sorry. and then we'll yeah, talk, this. and then we'll get back into some more videos. So uh, let's see where that she go. I think in this first video here we got Wade Boggs, and. One of the issues with, or let, we can let the video play first and then just talk a little bit about it. So that's a line, line drive in front of the outfield, in front of the outfielder uh, over the shortstop head. Mm. Oh, who we got? Are you showing him again? Okay, awesome. Yes, yeah. So one of the things we, we found out as we were reevaluating re um, the contact hitters is just that they weren't getting the correct amount of like line drives. They didn't have, I get, and I guess the best way to put it is they they were just a little softer up at the plate. They they weren't hitting as hard as they should have, and so in effect, you know, power players were obviously uh, you know more important to have in the game. So as we reevaluated this, we worked on um, that solid middle range of you know the PCI for those line drives and hard ground balls through through the infield. So here we have Bumgarner, and so, you know, see, I told you he can hit. And this is right up the middle. Doesn't hit the pitcher. No pitcher. And part of this is the change due to just the timing windows. It's yeah. harder to, to, square, to square up a ball. Another thing that's making, that's going to make contact hitters better overall, and this is something that's on the back end, mm -hmm. looking at those terabytes of telemetry data, we found out that contact hitters didn't have enough power yeah, on, they on, just, the, on, on the back, back end. Side, not, they did not, not the power yeah. attribute, but what was happening basically in the engine, they yeah. just didn't have enough yeah, power. So that, that's been power. something that's been corrected across the board mm -hmm. while there'll be more vibe. You're going to see way more singles and doubles, just guys like Tony Gwynn spraying little yeah. singles and hits across the field. And I think people should have seen that to some extent mm -hmm. uh, when we ran yeah. the close out. Absolutely. Uh, so here, Rod Crew, another guy, very high contact. And this is an online game. And these are online he games. Recorded these and, yesterday. You know, he's splitting the gap right there. And I think that, oh no, that team is actually pretty, pretty solid. But in some of the videos, you're going to notice that outfielders are high power guys, but lower, def lower uh, defensive rating. And so you're going to notice that 
they just can't quite without the speed. Yeah, stuff, they just the speed, can't. The user speed, can't get to the ball in time. Field and ability, they can't get to it. Uh, so number four is this four. Yeah. So I think this we got V Mart here. Just driving balls into the, into the gap. So that's solid. Okay, so, so yeah, we can hold off on some of the videos. So yeah, pure contactors are uh, will hit absolutely much better this year. And like Ramon mentioned, they they just needed they needed more power. They, they were power almost in that in the back end. They just weren't weren't getting enough, which is why. Even when squaring up uh, pitches, you just you didn't see those types of line drives. Yeah, you know, yeah, you saw weaker exactly. ground balls or yeah. just little duck farts. Yeah, so in, like, and so, yeah, duck fart. I mean, so general, you know, it just was. So. Yeah, so in general, like the high contact, low power hitters, they're going to mm -hmm. hit a higher percentage uh, numbers of singles and doubles. Yes, and on the inverse, the high power, low contact guys will hit mm -hmm. a lower share of mm -hmm. singles and doubles. Absolutely. Yeah, so, and yeah, the biggest difference for the peer, peer contact hitters, and what we can get in, the, we will get into that a little bit later with, um, you might notice the DD batter types below, just labeling yeah. the type of uh, hitter that the player is up at the plate. Those peer contact guys, you know, the, the range for the line drives and ground balls has been expanded to, to really, really open it up. And just, just to, uh, to like kind of preface all this is that it's not as if, Contact hitters are viable, and now power hitters are just trash. That that's yeah. just not yeah, what happened. Not, no, it's not as if the the issue just totally rem like took power hitters out of the game. That's just that's not true. You can still swing with those big power yeah. guys, though. In a lot of cases, they tend to be weaker fielders. But so that there's a little yeah. there's a little play that goes there, in there. There was, like in in my opinion, it was exacerbated. Uh, okay, contact hitters last year under under powered. Okay, underpowered, for power sure. hitters. Uh, maybe a little bit overpowered, little but bit. but also think about yeah. what we talked about with the difficulties. One of the things, one of the risks with power hitters is supposed to be striking out, right? right? And if the difficulty isn't hard enough for mm -hmm. the skill that's happening at the higher competitive levels, that they don't even have to think about being right. afraid of strike. I'm not going to strike. If you're not going to strike out with Joey Gallo, of course that will, there's no real risk yeah. at that point. You're gonna so see so a lot of these combinations Gallo. now are that you're going to see that risk is you mm -hmm. know going to be back in there with yeah. fastballs faster. But it's just we'll see what happens. Right. And yeah. Then, and no, exactly what you mentioned. So contact hitters tend to have better plate vision, and I mean it's strongly correlated both ways, but it's not necessarily guaranteed. So. You know, they're, you're going to see more foul offs, you know, and, uh, you know, foul tips. And with those power guys, you will see, you know, more strikeouts, more strikeouts. And, and, the, and swing and misses. Remember, PC, the PCI size is a combination of contact and the plate vision attribute. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, I think that. Yeah, can we play some more of those, those videos, Matt? Please. Woo. Uh, so Trey, Trey Turner against the uh, righty is what, 80 contact. And here you'll notice a little bit of a... This is my... Is this my power team? Yeah, this, that's your power team. Yeah, so I have Bright... Basically, my entire outfield is playing out of position. I think I have Bryce in center. That's not... Start, a, Stanton in left. What are they playing in a second They're position? playing yeah. in like the a secondary, secondary position, position, not out of position. Yeah, They're playing in the yeah. secondary position. It's, it's still, all it's power. Yeah. And one thing to note, the, the swing analysis feedback is, is outline. It's, it was just a weird issue. It's going to be... It'll be shot. buckshot, yeah. Just a weird issue. Nice route, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here uh, is this uh, Jose Peraza line drive right, right over, over the shortstop, and so like like I was saying last year, we just didn't. There was just no way for that to be a line drive. It was just soft, softer contact, even well with within the zone. So here, one more. This is uh, what difficulty? Uh, all of the videos that you're watching, we are playing on all star, all -star. hitting difficulty, Hall yeah. of Fame pitching difficulty. You guys yeah. can't hang on legend, so they got to. No, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So here we, here we go. Another we go hard, another smoke, hard, hard smoke ball. ball in the gap on the ground. Yeah, and also while we're talking about contact hitters, uh, during the alpha, for everybody that filled out the alpha feedback form, the alpha feedback survey, thank mm -hmm. you so much. We yeah. wish more people would have did it. <laughs> we, yeah, but we for everybody wish more who did, did we it. really, really appreciate it. It really helped out a lot yeah. as we continue awesome. to tune the game. It was great. stuff. Is awesome. You guys help pinpoint, you know, a lot of particular areas. The feedback on the forums was great. So really poignant feedback. Yeah, too. people like wrote some essays that were were really helpful. So so this yeah the, right here we got yeah, Bust, Buster Posey, 
a double over over an outfielder's head, something. Yeah, and that outfield's Bryce, and I think that's uh, not not that's Stanton in left mm -hmm. field. Who do we got here? Jose, Jose, another one. Jose Reyes, high contact guy. All right, so oh. it's three thirty. It is time for the giveaways. The keyword is exclamation point bunts. Got ten minutes. You've got ten, ten minutes. minutes to put it in. Exclamation point bunts. You only need to put the keyword in. One uh, time. I think I just saw something about outfield base bunts. hits in front of the fielder. Yeah, they're absolutely those. I think we might have yeah, shown, shown one that just that was like a line drive that dropped in in front. Um, yeah, the, the work to the contact hitter is to just really open up that that line drive hard ground ball section during like when we were reevaluating has been has been huge for these guys. Uh, which one are we on Matt, now? Marte. Yeah. So here's Starling Marte. Another high contact guy against a right-handed hitter, and it—it's not always doesn't always have to be a line drive. You know, they can they can still put a they little charge into it from time to yeah. time, and so go in the gap. I think, and if you notice too, you see a lot of more a lot more balls splitting defenders in the outfield, which yeah. I think is going to play yeah. a huge effect in you know lineup exactly. creation and stuff yeah, like the, that. Exactly. Yeah, the the fielding differentiation that they talked about on the uh, on the first stream yeah. is important because. That's a big part of the type of hit types you Absol see. The, absolutely. The amount of, the amount of uh, extra base hits you should be getting with mm -hmm. contact hitters. You know, if, if everybody out there is covering too much ground, right. then, yeah. then it, it really yeah. if, gets it hurts contact hitters more right. than power hitters. Yeah. So, for sure. Did you talk about uh, this? Oh, yeah, right now. Ooh, no, we, are, we haven't got up. The squared up? Not yet. We're not cool. there. Or we will be. We're about to be. <laughs> We're about to be, yeah. Here's Russell Martin, pretty low. Poor, poorly rated contact. I'm middle of like 50s, 60s, but you know, it's just you know this is just the video to show that you know contact is still possible for home runs. Guy, like you're yeah. you still groove one. Still groove one, absolutely. You know, no question about that. And I think this last one, he. Oh yeah, this is Tony, Tony Gwynn. Boom. Went down. And more, line drives. Got, more line drive. More line drive. And. <laughs> Hard line Sometimes drive. They'll be right Sometimes they'll be right Sometimes there. Sometimes it gets caught. Yep. It's That's not going to be a hit every good. time. It's not going to be a hit every it single never time. Will be. It never will be. Awesome. And I think... Yeah, but it was hit up. 103. See, yeah. So, yeah. Square, it says squared, squared, squared it up. And that's something... Yeah, yeah. Right. And so as... What's squared up? Squared up. So we reintroduced squared up to uh, to really just kind of identify the the best uh, angled hits and hardest hits in... Yeah. in um, in feedback, there was kind of just an issue with how we were grouping, um, you know, the contact results and you know what was being displayed. We, we were a little bit more loose than we probably should have been, so we reevaluated obviously both the swing timing and contact result to you know kind of fit them in better categories. And I'm not going to sit here and say that you could not come across something, but like that's why we showed it. That's why we showed it because you know. But the important part is remember is if. That same swing, that same position, mm -hmm. last year would have been hit 90 miles an hour right. or lower. Uh, Absolutely. You see, this year, in the we show 19, it was hit 103. Yeah. He squared it he up. Squared he got it right up. on top of it. He hit it right at somebody, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, that does happen. Yeah. So it, we, we, I referred to some of the feedback wording um, mm -hmm. from last year. So too many, last year, too many good, quote unquote, yeah. timing results. Mm -hmm. So it was, just, it was just too broad. Yeah. They've, it's been like really, so good really meant. Uh, around or above average and now it means only above average mm -hmm. so it, the threshold for good is a little bit closer to what it should be with the right. timing window considerations I mentioned Absolutely. and then the squared up thing will differentiate when mm -hmm. you really know you've you, you know yeah. yeah you've you've gotten on yeah. top of it so nice yeah so oh yeah so uh, while it is is difficult pitchers can get squared uh, squared up um, contact results on their best input. It happens in real life, obviously, and um, it's just going to be obviously a lot less. You know, that if that center guard's up there and he's pumping 101, you know, it's obviously going to be very difficult to square that up. It yeah. just it doesn't happen a lot in real life. It's not going to happen a lot in our game, but it is. It's a feasible thing that happens. You know, just the same way pitchers have hit like 150 in real life yeah. and major in the rest of you know the MLB hits like 250 or 260 yeah. you know it's the same same type of thing yeah and um so for uh, as you mentioned like the contact uh, result label yeah. um so it rates both how hard the ball's hit and the angle of the swing yeah and both both of them need to be good for you to get a good result 
one can't fail and get good, you know. So if if you see that, then you know one of them probably wasn't good. Obviously, you know. Yeah. And then yeah. Lastly, the, and most, and I think this is a really, really, really cool, cool addition, and it kind of just gives a little bit more transparency for you guys to help understand the hitter that you are using at the plate. You'll notice now yep. in DD during batter walkups, just below the player card, we're going to uh, display the type of hitter that the the player at the plate is. Um, it'll be contact, balanced, power, and pitcher. And so from this, you can infer, um, you know. What type of hitter they are, obviously, yeah. you know, power, pure power, pure contact. The majority of the players are going to be balanced. The majority of the players in MLB are, are balanced. But, you know, um, for those pure contact hitters, those are the guys that you're going to see hitting those hard line drives, line drives, balls over, balls drives. through the gap. And, and again, this is not to say that power hitters will not get those types yeah. of results. They, yeah. Absolutely not. They will get them but just at a less frequency. Yeah, you know, they're more prone to the pop-ups exactly. and stuff and the, the weak grounders for maybe being out of front. So, yep. you know, please just re remember that when you're, when you're viewing this, that, you know, saying it's a pure contact hitter isn't a catch-all that says absolutely no power, no home yeah, runs. Yeah. It's just, it's not like that. It's just saying his, win his, con like his window is li the line drives, yep. hard ground balls through the infield, and maybe, maybe he can put one out there, you know? Yeah. So... I mean, I'm I'm pretty excited about all of these changes, and you're, you'll you'll see a lot of uh, gameplay footage as we're playing in our dev streams, and yep. and, and everything is exactly. all wrapped up nice and nice and neatly. But is it pretty close to uh, the end of? Oh no, we know, we've got time. a few more minutes. Is it, is more it legend minutes. time? It, it's did we about... did we cover everything for hitting? I think we did. So pitching on the higher end is faster. Pitching is higher fast. It's Pitching is faster. Online, it's even faster than that. Online, it's even faster. And, it's and Legend, DD, it's, it's even, even faster, faster, faster than, than that. that. And yeah, Legend, it's, it is absolutely Contact faster. Contact hitters are more viable. Contact hitters are more viable. Uh, result, uh, in feedback in the swing analysis should better and more accurately represent what you experienced on your swing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Home runs per nine on the highest. Highest, end. the absolute highest. End. Guys with high home runs per nine mm -hmm. are going to be effective. Yeah, they're not going to be overpowered. Yeah. Somebody yeah. in the chat, it's, you know, only a troll thinks in absolutes. So you, it's going to be <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, use them uh, if you really want to counter power. If you don't, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Fastballs are faster. Fastballs are more faster. Viable. Once you go past your first pitch, the accuracy starts to dip, and then it really starts to dip. You can't can't mm -hmm. spam low off speed pitches anymore. You can't spam right. you off can't, speed pitches can't. in general. Mm -hmm. Right. But if unless it's your number one, unless it's unless your number, it's one, number pitch, one, because you've you've crafted if you have that a, pitch to a reliever be who has a circle OP. change as a yeah. number one pitch, yeah. you can throw that pitch. You on deserve, yeah, if, you, if your splitter is number one, you deserve to throw that thing every time because the way your finger is going to look after that. What was the hey? Wait. And if if anything is it op, we want to know. Yeah. Let us know yeah. because we like we are going to be reactive. Like yeah. we want to know if you guys find a meta this year. Uh, that that is that seems like the best meta. Then we then we need to get to work. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we'll try to, to be very reactionary. Change. So in general, mm -hmm. in, encompassing for hitting in 2019, we reward a combination of PCI input and accuracy mm -hmm. and swing timing, not just god level PCI skills. Yeah, yeah. And you're not rewarded for taking pitches. There does, there's no there's incentive no or disincentive thing. for any count. That doesn't matter. It's not. That's not absolutely no. not what we meant in the blog yeah. and hopefully we clarified that here and Victor clarified that you yeah. know on the show nation for you guys PCI is king PCI yeah. is king take take yeah. bad timing is queen huh time is queen time is queen okay sure oh, we, can, we can roll with that I right, suppose uh, plate discipline is got two minutes left, left till swap. the yeah, 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 giveaway sure, absolutely. so we're gonna swap out thank you Nick yeah. and Mr. Cow song. hey alright thanks nice. guys I didn't, I'm not trying to call anybody specifically a troll. I love everyone, okay, equally, trolls included. Um, you know, we can yeah. hang out under the bridge. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> we can hang out. Right, guys, you got less than one minute to put in the keyword exclamation point bunts to be entered into the sweepstakes. The prizes are two 
signed King Griffey Jr. MLB authenticated balls. Thank you, Charles Cruz, for making sure those got authenticated. We're giving away two digital deluxe editions of the game, which unfortunately cannot be preloaded. We're giving away two 10 pack bundles, and we're giving away two $50 stubs packs, which equates to 67,500 stubs. And we got Steven and Luis about to join us very soon to go over another legend reveal. Did you, we had a wardrobe change. 340. <laughs> 340. So please, uh, the sweepstakes is over. Please stop inputting the word bunts. What's up, Steven? What's up, Luis? What's up? Glad to see you guys back. We just yeah. saw you a few hours ago. Yeah. We're back again. Yeah. We just had lunch. Mm -hmm. Came back. So we're going to show all the legends right now? No. <laughs> Are we launching the game right now? No. Oh, okay. No. One new legend reveal. <laughs> yeah. Not another, even the launch. The second of the day, another legend. So earlier today, if you missed it, Jimmy Fox, Philadelphia Athletics, Boston Red Sox, Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. was, uh, we introduced him. Huge power. What does he play? First base? Plays first, but okay. he'll play some other. He'll play some other positions so, too. So this legend does not play first. I don't know. What, do we want to say anything about it? We have another video to kind of reveal roll the video. him. How you want to do All it? All right, roll it. Roll it, beautiful roll it, legend footage. <laughs> Yo, got. shout out to the character team who has to do all of these faces for the MLB players and the legends. Because some of these guys, there are not a lot of photos of them that exist oh. on the internet. And it's really difficult yeah. to make their faces. So There's shout out to everybody on the character team. We got, but yeah, plenty, of plenty of Pudge. So what do we need to know about Ivan Rodriguez, known as Pudge? Yeah, so Pudge, uh, you know, he's in the conversation for best player of all time mm -hmm. at his position, mm -hmm. right? You know, you got Johnny Bench, you got Pudge, mm -hmm. Piazza, uh, but he's in the conversation. Um, he he had six straight years winning the Silver Slugger and the Gold Glove. Six, like six straight. So being an the offensive, best, defensive. Best at hitting yeah. and best at, at uh, defense at wow. your position. Wow. He's pretty fast, too. He stole 25 bags one year. We already revealed Jason Kendall, fast catcher. Pudge, mm -hmm. fast catcher. These guys are going to give uh, Real Muto a mm -hmm. run for his money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. And, of course, Steven remembers Pudge fondly. Yeah, Ivan yes. Rodriguez played one year, just one year as a Florida <laughs> Marlin, but it was a big year. It was the yeah. 03 run to the title, the yeah. Marlins' second championship. He won NLCS, uh, helping beat the Cubs. Had 10 RBI in that one series against the Cubs, and they went on to win the World Series. So, I'm wearing yeah. my Marlins for him today. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Pudge, two legends mm. down. No, two plus four. Was that six total we've revealed? So, so far, we had four in the gameplay reveal so. trailer. These two yeah. got a lot more. So we'll reveal about one a stream, and then we'll get to the DD Maybe stream. More. Maybe, Maybe some, more. It's usually two. Yeah, Maybe, usually two. Usually two. When we get to the DD stream, we'll, we'll talk a lot about Legends. We'll even reveal their player rating. On the last on the, on the content last, stream. The last That's content in mid -March, stream, yeah. Which is in mid-March. So next week's stream is going to be all about Road to the Show. So be sure to be looking around Monday or Tuesday for some Road to the Show info drop. There'll be some content about what's doing Road to the Show. Then we'll come back on the couch on Thursday and we'll do the Road to the Show stream. Mm -hmm. Steve Merka, Jared Ono, Chris Muriel. Mm -hmm. Who else am I getting? Mr. Ricky Rose, Ross Houston <laughs> will be here too. We'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk a lot about Road to the Show. And remember we said earlier, uh, the Diamond pre-orders, we will start to reveal those in the next few weeks. But before the game comes out, you'll know yep. who every single player yeah, be is. Yeah, exciting to see this. Yeah, those are, those are Those hot. diamond choices. Yeah, Luis all is diamonds. working on. All diamonds. Luis is, <laughs> is working on those players right now. So that's it for our two streams today. Quick note. Uh, Whispers might go out for the prizes a little bit after the stream, so keep an eye Oh, on quick note. Whispers uh, for the prize winners might go out a little bit after the stream, so don't go away just yet. We still need to give out the sweepstakes mm -hmm. prizes. Anything else you guys want to talk about since we're here? We got all the Marlins great catchers now. Benito, Piazza, Pudge. No, I'm just Whoa. kidding. <laughs> 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 he's been out his, he's been out his, how about, how about, how about a hint for next week's Legends? It's a hitter. Mm. And a pitcher, correct? A hitter and a pitcher? Honestly, I can't remember. I think it is. <laughs> That's a wonderful I think it is. Hitter and a pitcher. 
<laughs> Which doesn't, doesn't help you that much. One, one wonderful hit, Luis. Yeah. All right, so we talked about gameplay quite a bit today. Hitting, defense, pitching, bunting, contact hitters, playing out of position, bad jumps. Mm -hmm. Elite guys on defense are going to stand out, be way more valuable. That was right. the reason why we showed those guys in the yeah. gameplay reveal right. trailer. Going to be extra valuable this year. Anything else? I've been enjoying using contact hitters so far in what I've been playing. Yeah. Making everybody yeah. jealous. And yep. again, thank you to everybody who downloaded the alpha back in December and played the games. We really appreciate it. And double thanks to everybody who played in the alpha and who answered their, those survey documents. We really appreciate it. We're always trying to make the most fun and enjoyable and balanced game we can. And we'll continue to try to do that. So until next week, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Just a Sunday, this is about to be epic. Look, I get it rocking like a cradle. I never so but I was able to see my partners make the rope bread without the stable. While packing something oh, that make it tough spin like dreidels. Oh, I hung around them shells like April. Oh, Neil, oh, feel me when I get to saying it's so real. Folk will think that it's entertaining till fly, no subliminal. Yeah, the gift of carrying torches. Sometimes I get nervous as a suitor that's entering courtship. Ooh, then I get to feeling euphoric. Holy flow, every bar low key should be pinned in the. Ooh, and look at she's so gorgeous. She be with me whether I was flipping a Tesla or Taurus. Ooh, lame ducks be like, what pond you from? I tell them harder than when monsoons come and they chase cheese only dipping when that fondue come and run that base till they heart go out just like you son and look this for my partners who low-key pitching the mound and those that laughed at me when i stayed at my mama house my pockets fatter now my mama see something to brag about and i spit punches and bunches like i'm off and heckler now Thank you.